I'm going to be driving from Seattle to Phoenix in five days, and this video is going to document the whole journey. So I have a lot to pack and a lot to organize before I take off, so let's just jump right into it. I know it's messy, but I'm moving, so you can't judge me. But we have to take all these clothes, pick out about 14 days worth, and that's all I'm bringing. So this is the damage so far. We still have a little bit more. I need to go through this, my camping tote, throw away what I don't need and organize everything I'm keeping. Okay, that's looking much better now. Zoink! Then I like to have one of my favorite prints always riding along with me. So after our recent ski trip, there's a bunch of standing water in my roof rack now because all the snowboards were put up there after we rode them all day and the snow melted off. Now we got standing water, so that's pretty annoying. <laughs> So we got a lot of kitchen stuff in here. Probably gonna rattle the whole way down. I hope not, but we will see. So these are actually taking up a bunch of room back here. I might try fit them up here. We'll see if they fit. <coughs> not gonna fit. Okay, so this box is too tall. So I'm gonna try to reorganize everything, put it into this box. I'm so tired, so I'm just gonna do a load of laundry and we'll do some more packing tomorrow. We are finally done packing. That felt like it took forever. The reason why I'm bringing so much stuff is because I'm actually gonna be spending four months down in Phoenix. I got an apartment down there, moving down there, gonna check it out, just explore the area and just get tons of content. That's why I had so much stuff, but we got it all packed and now we are ready to hit the road. So I'll see you guys on the road. All right, it is officially time to leave. I just finished work, so now it's time to hit the road.
It's a little bit past 3.30 right now and we're gonna be leaving Seattle. Let's get this show on the road. So our first little leg of this road trip is gonna be a short one over to Tri-Cities, Washington. After getting off work kind of late, couldn't really make it that far today. We will be pushing to Tri-Cities, Washington and staying there tonight. My original plan was to camp in the back because I can lay a bed down on this thing, but there's a winter storm that rolled in called Olive and it's dropping all the temperature. So all the places that I wanted to stay are gonna be down in like the low teens, which isn't that bad, but I just don't have all the gear in here to handle cold weather like that because I had to pack so much stuff. Now we're just gonna be staying in hotels. It is what it is. So I did a really similar trip to this about a year and a half ago. Day before I left, deer jumped out in front of me, hit the front corner of my car, whipped sideways into my driver's side door and destroyed my driver's side door. So the whole trip, I couldn't even roll down my window. The entire road trip. So being able to do this feels so good. Oh yeah! So I just made it through Snoqualmie Pass there on I-90. Now we are on the east side of Washington. So the views are gonna look like this pretty much the rest of the way. A lot of people are surprised that actually two thirds of the state of Washington looks like this. They always picture Washington as like these mountainous green place, but more than two thirds of the state looks just like this, which is kind of wild. Okay, first stop of the road trip. I'm getting a little hungry, so I'm gonna get some Subway. This is the Subway in Ellensburg, Washington, and it is freezing. 19 degrees and it's not even nighttime yet. That is why I'm not camping in this car. I'm going to be staying in hotels. <laughs> All right, let's get some food. Sandwich acquired. I haven't been to Subway in so long. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Always been a big fan of Subway. They make good sandwiches. All right, I'm going to devour this and we'll get back on the road. I absolutely roundhouse that sandwich. So now we're good to go back on the road. Stomach's full, future is bright. <laughs> I don't really know what that is. We still have about just under two hours left until we're to our final destination for tonight. About to get dark, so I won't have much to show you guys really, but probably check in if I need to get gas or if I get there. So we'll see you guys there in a second. We are here at the Sun Market. This will be the first gas fill up of the road trip. We're just barely outside of our final destination. I don't want to risk it. So I'm just going to fill up here and then we got another like 20 minutes into where we're staying. Yeah, let's get some gas. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's snowing out there. It is cold. I don't even want to get back out to take the pump out. That's the damage. Gas is going to be the expensive part about this whole road trip. Okay, and I'm going to pull in here. I need to get some water. So we got my cooler here. I got some ice for it. Got some snacks in there. I can't really see right now. It's too dark, but just know I'm putting ice in there. That's what I'm doing. Pull out a bubbly for the road. A bubbly, bubbly. dropped ice everywhere. Don't want ice in my car. It makes it even colder. It's cold enough. Alrighty. Good to go. All right. Made it to the hotel. This looks like crap, dude. <laughs> All right, let's go check in. Jeez, this is huge. It's basically a house. Wow, these are actually really comfortable. Oh, yeah. Woo. All righty. Well, I'm gonna get settled in here. It's only like 7.30. I'll probably do a bunch of editing tonight and then get some rest. We'll be back on the road early tomorrow morning. Okay, one thing I need to applaud this hotel room for is the bathroom lighting. Look at that light. That's incredible. You can see into your own soul of this mirror.
a little chilly out there. Looks like we did get a little bit of snow last night. Whoo! It's freezing out there. Oh my gosh. People live here? <laughs> it is 11 degrees. Oh my lord heavens. Need to warm this up ASAP Rocky. But we do have some coffee. The thing about hotel coffee though, it's either really good or really bad. Let's see how this is. And this is terrible. <laughs> We're definitely gonna have to stop and get some different coffee. It's basically water with like one coffee bean in it. Now I know what you're probably already thinking. Josh, you're wearing the same outfit as yesterday, man. You loser. And you're right, I am. But I only wore this outfit for like four hours yesterday and all I did was drive, so. I did put on a new pair of underwear and socks, so you can't judge me too hard. So crossing that bridge officially put us into Oregon. So we are now in Oregon State. Today is gonna to be the longest driving day of the trip. We've got about seven hours today. We will be pushing all the way through Oregon and down into Southern Idaho. We gotta to get to Twin Falls, Idaho tonight. So it's gonna be a bit of a haul, but that's why I left really early, so we got plenty of time. No rush, gonna enjoy some scenery. We're just driving today, so heck yeah, dude. Okay, making the first stop of today. I've been driving for a little over two and a half hours and I gotta go to the bathroom. And I'm gonna restock on some coffee finally and I think I'm just gonna fill up with gas here because I think there's gonna be a stretch of no gas stations for a little while and I just don't wanna risk it. I have plenty of gas. I have like 130 miles left in my tank but I just, I'm just gonna fill up here that, since I'm at this gas station already. But yeah, about a little after 9.30, first stop of the day, Baker City, go to the bathroom, let's get some coffee get some gas, get back on the road. So after this morning's coffee, there's no way that this can be any worse. There's just no way. It's not as bad, it's not that great. This again tastes like a cup of water with one coffee bean in it, so it has to do for now. <laughs> Okay, we are filled up. Another 45 bucks, nothing, no big deal. Let's get back on the road. We got our coffee, we got our gas, we emptied our bladder, we're ready to roll. I have about four more hours until my final destination tonight. I know it's probably not the most entertaining. How many videos of the road can I really give you guys? <laughs> but I'll try and keep you guys updated on these little pit stops, provide a little more entertainment. Yeah, just a lot of driving today and just grinding it out. We're gonna get it done, so come on. Let's get back on the road. I think we're about to head over a pass or something because all these trucks are chaining up and there's signs saying that chains are required. I think it's for only like heavy loads like these semi trucks carrying like over 10,000 pounds. I hope it's not too bad in here and I hope I can get through okay. Oh 
Okay, I think we made it through the pass. That was a little nerve wracking. Got pretty socked in and uh, like zero visibility. The trucks were just putting along, like barely making it up the hill. We made it through okay, thankfully, thank the Lord. Now it's sunny, so <laughs> this weather's kind of crazy. Officially just crossed into Idaho. We are making progress, folks. I might be losing my mind a little bit, but we are making progress. Even though we've come so far, we still have about two and a half hours of driving, which means we've already done a little over four, about four and a half. You might be able to tell my eyes are bugging out a little bit, but still holding strong, we're still doing well. The scenery has changed quite a bit, not much to look at anymore, but you know, we're on to a beautiful place, so. You just gotta go through the bad to get to the good. Guys, these views right now are unreal. Look at this. <laughs> oh God, flatter than a piece of paper, man. I don't know if you guys can see that speed limit sign very well, but on this stretch of highway, the speed limit is 80 miles per hour. I feel like I'm breaking the law going that fast. It feels so weird just to be cruising at 89 miles per hour. But I'm not complaining, kind of like it. But I feel like I'm gonna get pulled over at any second. <laughs> okay, pit stop number two. I gotta go to the bathroom again. Um, we just made it through Boise, Idaho, and we're about two hours away now. So we've driven about four and a half. I'm still sane, but barely. This is a stop just for the bathroom, so and then we'll be right back on the road. So it'll be a short little stop and then we're just cruising it the rest of the way to the final destination at the mountain time zone so now we're ahead one hour so it's actually one o'clock yeah we're making good time we're gonna get down to twin falls about three o'clock local time and hopefully we can maybe go do some sightseeing before the sun goes down so heck yeah oh my god it's so windy i to turn my car off huh things like that that are so fun about a road trip i'm just in the middle of nowhere stretching i don't know if any of you guys can relate to that but i kind of love those little things like that Woo! feels good to get out of the car and stretch the legs a little bit get some blood flowing again i was trying to say out there i don't know if you guys could even hear it because it's so windy but just this little stuff like this on a road trip where i'm just stopped at a rest area in the middle of nowhere and just stretching my legs i love the little stuff like that i don't know it's kind of weird but i love those little details but okay, we are still about two hours out of Twin Falls, like I said. The bladder is empty yet again, so we are ready to roll, and let's just cruise it on out. Finish off this last little stretch of today's legs. We'll see you guys in Twin Falls, probably. <sighs> okay. We made it to Twin Falls. Seven hours of driving is finally over. So ready to not drive anymore today. But we just pulled into town. It's about almost 3 p.m. local time. I'm here at Costco Gas. Yes, I already used a whole nother tank of gas. I'm gonna fill up. I can't check into my hotel until like four o'clock. So I think after this, we're gonna wander around and maybe check out the canyon and see if we got any good views in store for us. But I'm just so happy that driving's over for today. Ready to just relax and sightsee now. No more driving. Okay, forgot to record the price, but that was about 56 bucks. So that is gas tank number three already. The second day in on the road trip. But you know, we're driving across the country pretty much. So what else do I expect? So since I have a couple hours now until sunset, I'm gonna go check out some waterfalls. There's this park called, I believe it's Shoshone, Shoshone Falls Park. It's just outside of Twin Falls and it looks pretty cool on Google Maps and Google Images. I'm gonna go check it out, see how it looks.
Looking pretty sweet. Okay, I'd say that was pretty worth it. That was a pretty cool view. One nice thing about traveling in the winter time is yeah, it's cold, but it's completely empty. Got this whole place to myself, it's pretty cool. So this is kind of a cool story, it's come full circle. I made this trip like a year and a half ago and I took this route down to Phoenix and I had bought my new camera, the camera I use today, bought it in Boise on the trip down. Fun fact is this spot I'm about to show you guys, the place where I took the very first photo on my current camera. So it's kind of nostalgic. This is the spot down there on those rocks over there through the trees and then took a picture of the bridge. That is the first photo I ever took on my current camera and here I am back a year and a half later. So right over there is where I took the first photo on my current camera of that bridge. And I will say it, it was a banger. <laughs> I think we got some pretty cool photos. Pretty cool to be back here a year and a half later taking photos in the same spot. And uh, yeah, you guys can find those photos on my Instagram probably. They'll probably be posted by the time you guys see this video. So go check them out. A little bit chilly. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go check in my hotel, drop some bags off, and then go get some Din Din, because I'm starving. I'm actually doing a 24 hour fast today during this whole uh, leg of the trip. So it's been a bit of a challenge, but I'm ready to eat. Okay, not as nice as the other one, but I suppose it will do. <laughs> oh, what a day. Whew. All right, let's go some dinner. Just had dinner. Stomach is all full. Now we're ready to settle down for the night. I'm probably just going to edit a little bit and then I'm going to get some rest because I am beat from today. So I'll see you guys in the morning. morning cheers to another day thankful for it praise the lord hallelujah still dark outside but the early bird gets the worm right Still gotta put away all my editing stuff. It's kind of funny because I'm filming this video right now while I'm editing last week's video for YouTube. I like doing both at the same time. A little cold out here. All right, let's get some coffee. just checked out of our hotel here in Twin Falls. This morning, I'm gonna head to a coffee shop actually because just finished editing my last video for YouTube of us snowboarding and I wanna get that uploaded this morning for you guys to watch. And then we'll be back on the road. We'll be heading to Salt Lake City. Goodbye, hotel. We're just gonna use Starbucks because I need some Wi-Fi. This is like the only thing open in this town. What a beautiful morning. Look at this sunset. Yeah, you done? Can I just do a grande americano, please? Do you guys have a, a Wi-Fi password? Can we get a name? Yeah, it's Joshua. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, we 
we've been here about 15 minutes. It's only at 6% uploading, so that is not a good sign. <laughs> well, that turned out to be a complete waste of time. That Starbucks had some terrible upload speeds. I was in there for an hour and it was only at 16%. I just had a bail on it because I gotta get to Salt Lake City this morning. By the time you guys are seeing this, that video will already be up. I guess you guys will see the problems I had with it later on, like right now in this video. But okay, we are leaving Twin Falls, Idaho. It's about a little after 7 a.m. local time, or my time, a little after 8 a.m. local time. And we got about three hours today, a three hour drive to Salt Lake City. So not as bad as yesterday. Back on the road. Get after it, get to Salt Lake City. You guys will also probably be proud of me because I put on a new outfit this morning. Well, the day before that doesn't count because I just drove all day, so that's it. It doesn't count. But I do have a new outfit on and I'll probably pick a new hat. We're adulting. So this drive from Twin Falls, Idaho, Salt Lake City, Utah, surprisingly really beautiful. Like it's simple. There's not much going on. These low elevation hills, kind of just these rolling hills, but with the snow on them, beautiful. Look at this. I think with that snow, it just makes them super aesthetic and it's just so pleasing to the eye. We just officially crossed into Utah. We are now in the great state of Utah and it feels amazing. God, I love road trips, man. <laughs> like genuinely in awe right now how beautiful this drive is heading into Salt Lake City it's incredible God is quite the artist isn't he I literally can't stop smiling while I'm driving people pass me probably think I'm a lunatic because I'm just sitting here just everywhere I look is just so much beauty it's endless it's so it's so beautiful it's crazy I love it I love it <laughs> gotta make a quick little bathroom stop here this will be the first stop of today's leg we are about an hour outside of Salt Lake City still. We've been driving for about two hours, so nothing crazy. It is 10.15 local time. Whew. Only been in the car two hours, but it feels good to move the legs. It's a little bit bright out here. Let's throw some of this trash out actually as well. Bladder is emptied yet again. Got about an hour left into Salt Lake City, like I said. Let's just get right back to it. I'll just fill up my water here real quick first. Easy peasy. Come on, get on there. Jeez, what in the... It won't go on. Oh, I was spinning it the wrong way, dude. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, my dad's calling me. Pick that up. We made it. We are in Salt Lake City and just in time too because I'm just now needing to refill my gas tank. We're sitting here at Costco and we're gonna fill it up and then we're staying here tonight. So this will be our destination for the rest of the day. Okay, we are full, full tank of gas. And uh, that one was about 52 bucks. That's why I love going to Costco. I feel like it's way cheaper. And I get the Costco credit card, so I get percent back. So we have the rest of the day now. It's only 11 a.m. local time, about 11.30 local time. So now the world is our oyster. Look up a coffee shop maybe and see if I can get this YouTube video uploaded. I do have a friend who recently moved from Seattle to Salt Lake City. I might be meeting up with him for a little bit. I probably won't film that very much just because it seems disingenuous to be filming our interaction or hang out after we haven't seen each other for a little while. So we're just kind of 
kind of winging it the rest of the day. So we are back at Starbucks, now in Salt Lake City. We'll try uploading this YouTube video again. Hopefully we have better luck this time. We'll see. been here so long that now I'm eating food here. Okay, I have a bone to pick with Starbucks. Still the same speed, just terrible. I sat in there for a total of like two and a half hours and my video is only like 30% uploaded. So, so I just called my hotel. They have the room ready for me already so I can go check in early. So I'm just gonna go there, set it up there and just have it upload. Hopefully go out and explore a little bit. It's really snowy right now. They just got some fresh snow recently. So I don't know how much I'm gonna be exploring like out in the canyons and stuff. Maybe just around town or whatever. I'm not, I'm not really even sure. I will figure it out. But we are heading to the hotel now and hopefully can, we can upload there. I'm gonna go get checked in and then we'll get in our room and we'll go from there. Oh my God. Talk about a good catch, eh? I sure did, I caught that. Caught that there. Security, dude. Yeah. This place feels kind of fancy. Heard of the other ones I've said that. There's not even a room number on this, but I think, I think it's this one. I remember her saying 319. Uh oh. Maybe not. 317? Just trying to break into people's rooms or what? Sworn she said 319. Let's try the other key. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh yeah, this is fantastic. <laughs> How'd I get this room, man? This is out of my flipping comfort zone. I'm not worthy of this room. Oh, oh, oh yeah. This one might be the most comfy one on the trip so far. Yes. Okay, while that finishes uploading, we're gonna go explore a little bit and see what we can find. I have no idea where I'm going, but we're just gonna figure it out as we go, baby, woo! I found my way over to Ensign Peak. It's like this viewpoint that overlooks Salt Lake City, so I think it should be pretty cool. Let's go check it out. Wasn't really planning on it, but we're gonna hike up this mountain. Salt Lake City, it really is a pretty cool city. It's pretty beautiful. Feels pretty good to get the heart rate up. After sitting in the car for so long and just driving the last couple of days, I'm enjoying this. And there's fantastic views, so never matter that. Oh wow, got up on this ridge and you can look out the other direction. Look at this view. That's the Great Salt Lake out there. That's where the great Michael Jordan played. Okay, well, that was pretty flipping sweet. It's an awesome view up there of the city and the mountains, the snowy mountains behind it. It's so pretty. Now we're heading back down and uh, we'll see what else we can get into. I probably should have started the video after I was done chewing. So now I'm parked at this place called Pete's Rock. It's a beautiful view. It overlooks the whole valley. You can see the city way off in the distance. Perfect view for sunset. Sun's about to go down, so we'd probably just hang out here until it sets. So I'm gonna go meet my buddy for some dinner and I'll be heading back to the hotel. So I'll check back in with you guys when we get back to the room. Okay, we are back to the hotel room. Meet me at the hotel room.
Finally back to the room. It's been a pretty long day. It was a great day, a very good day. It's always good to see some old friends. It was cool exploring the city today and seeing some views. I'm probably gonna edit again for a little bit because I'm always editing. That's pretty much my entire life now. I finally got that YouTube video up after all that pain and agony I had to go through. Finally got uploaded. So hopefully you guys have watched that already. And if you haven't watched it, go and watch it. It's my last video up. <laughs> Tomorrow, we'll be waking up bright and early again and we'll be heading to St. George. It's about four hours, four and a half hours from here. Yeah, it should be a fun drive. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It's another beautiful day that the Lord has made. Let's get after it. Checking out, yeah. Okay, that works. All right. All right, thank cool. you so much. Appreciate thank it. You, yeah. We are off, back on the road. We are leaving Salt Lake City. I got my coffee, we're ready to roll. I just stayed at the Best Western Plus in North Salt Lake. Definitely the best hotel so far on this trip. I just tried their coffee. It's actually super good coffee. So the Best Western Plus in North Salt Lake gets my vote for sure. It's a great hotel. So this morning, we are heading toward St. George, Utah. We have a little over four hours of driving, but since we got out of here so early, we should be getting to St. George about by noon. Then we can spend the rest of the day exploring her but yeah we were just gonna keep on trucking along down i-15 so it's gonna be a good day thing on Sunday mornings but this freeway is completely empty right now like 7 a.m. isn't that early I'm not complaining I don't mind having an open road but maybe it's because it's Sunday morning here in Utah so I don't, I don't know I just thought that was interesting also I'm not sure exactly how I feel about this hat it looks kind of wrinkly in here I don't know I like it but I don't like it you know what I mean yeah maybe I'll let you guys decide let me know what you think of it I'll probably be wearing it all day today. So if it sucks, I guess I'm wearing a sucky hat all day today. We'll see. We'll see what the verdict is after today. We are stopping for some gas and to use the restroom. We've been driving for about two hours already. It's about 9, 9.02 now. And we're in a city called Fillmore. It's a tiny little city. So yeah, we're just gonna get some gas, use the restroom, and then we'll be right back on the road. I guess I gotta go see the cashier. Okay. 
performance at this year's Oscars. Well, I'm glad that my card worked because at the pump, it was telling me it's declined. So I had to go inside. I was like, oh no, is my card screwed up? But it worked in there, so we're good to go. Look at the little kitty out here in the middle of nowhere at the gas station. Hello, little kitty. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. I want to go hug him. I'm taking him with me. Actually, he kind of looks kind of mean, dude. Nah, I'd still cuddle him. Okay, so since I had to go into the cashier there, I just put in a flat 50 bucks and that should get us the rest of the way to St. George. I was also gonna get a cup of coffee, but they did not have any coffee. Also, look at this American sign. America! So I'm gonna go across the street to this other gas station and see if they have coffee. And hopefully it's good. I'm not getting my hopes up, but we'll see. Okay, they had some coffee, thankfully. Give this a try. Yeah. It's not terrible, but it's not the best. It's about what you would expect from gas station coffee, but it does the trick for a little road trip. That'll get me by. Public service announcement. If you are driving from Salt Lake City to St. George, do the speed limit. I've seen like seven or eight state troopers already. I'm only two hours into my drive. They are everywhere. If you get pulled over between Salt Lake City and St. George, can't say I didn't warn you. Your boy's gotta take a leak. So we are stopping real quick. That's the problem when you drink so much coffee is you gotta go pee about every 30 minutes. It is about 10.30. AM. So we've been driving for about three and a half hours already. So we have about an hour left to St. George. We will empty out the bladder and then we'll be pushing the rest of the way through the lake today. And uh, we'll get to St. George. Cannot wait. There's something on the road here that is getting all over my car. I'm guessing it has something to do with like on the roads to de-ice it or whatever. That'd be my guess. I don't know. I need to stretch my legs a little bit though. It was so good to stretch. Being in the car so long, driving so much, I feel like I'm just becoming a ball of lard. So it always feels good to get the blood flowing and stretch a little bit. Remind me that I'm still a human and not just a ball of blubber. An hour away, there's still a lot of snow on the ground. That's making me a little bit fearful of what it's like in St. George. Hopefully there's not a lot of snow on the ground and hopefully we can get out and explore a little bit. But let's just worry about getting down there first. So let's get back on the road. That's probably the scariest part for me about road tripping this long of a road trip by myself. If I hit a storm or something really bad at like road conditions where I get stuck, I'm completely by myself. But the angels of God watching over me and we're gonna be safe in Jesus' name. All right, we made it to St. George. We made pretty good time. It's about 11.50 a.m. local time. It actually is not looking too bad right now. 42 degrees, not that much snow on the ground. It's not terrible. I think I'm gonna eat some food and then I'll check out that park and then we'll be checking into the hotel. Let's go grab some grub. The belly's filled up and we're ready to go explore. Let's go check out Snow Canyon State Park. Hey, how you doing? I'm all right, how are you? Doing good, thank you. Good, just a day pass for you? Yeah. It's gonna be different with the snow. It was sunny last time <laughs> yeah. I was here, but. Yeah, snow should... kind of changes things, but I'll just put this tag up on your windshield. It'll okay. be good until... Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you. Snow Canyon. State Park. And the weather shifted. Now it's snowing. It's gonna make it pretty cool down here actually in the snow. 
Might be actually pretty dope, dude. Already beautiful. I mean, look at that. <clears throat> wow. Oh, yeah. The Stoke is arriving. Now I'm so excited. I just want to get pictures, videos, everything. I love this part of the road trips. Getting to places that you can explore is like the best part of road trips. Okay, it's still dumping snow here. I think I'm just going to send it. So, wish me luck. First things first, we just got to get the rain cover for my backpack so my gear doesn't get all soaking wet. So this just goes right over the bag and it's like a raincoat for a backpack. Boom! And now time for my raincoat. Got to keep my gear dry and got to keep myself dry. Otherwise it's miserable, right? This is incredible. Wow, this is incredible. There's just no way that this is even real. I'm having one of those kids in the candy shop moment again. Oh no. You okay, buddy? I got my little phone tripod set up and taking a picture out over the canyon. It's crispy. It's a sizzler. It is a certified banger. So many cool sceneries and sights and views. You just want to shoot all of it and it gets overwhelming. There is such a thing as overshooting a spot. You can get to the point where you just get your shots that you're happy with, just put the gear away, and then just enjoy the views after that. I think that's pretty important for any content creator. Make time to actually enjoy the views as well. You're so caught up in capturing it that you don't even enjoy it. It's so cool. Okay, I'm getting a little bit chilly, so I think I'm gonna head back to the car. But once I warm up, I wanna go walk that trail. It looks super cool. I think it'll be a cool walk to do. So we'll say goodbye to this view, then we'll go down there. Whoo, it's a little chilly out there. But my oh my, is it beautiful. I need to get a little snack first. It's probably only been like a couple minutes since you guys last seen me eat on here. But in real time, it's been like three hours. <laughs> We're down on this road now. We were up there just a little bit ago. It is beautiful down here. This place is just way too good. It's perfect. Okay, I think it's time I get out of here. Otherwise, I'll just stay here all day and continue shooting photos and video. I will never leave. <laughs> I got like pry myself out of here. 
about 4.30 now, local time. Let's get going over to the hotel. Before heading to the hotel, I'm just gonna have a quick little lunch slash snack. Haven't eaten much today. Been exploring too much. Not a bad view though, for lunch. Well, that's a good view to look at while you're eating some food. All right, let's go get checked in. Yeah. May I get a last name? It's uh, Buchanan. This is at 11. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. We are checked in, folks. That girl at the front desk, she was so like, she was so nice. You can just tell, such a kind heart. I love people like that. We got our stuff in the room, and then I'll probably go grab dinner. We will settle down and probably edit yet again. I don't know how much more I'm gonna film today because I feel like I've already filmed so many things and I have so much content to share with you guys already. Today's been a crazy day, but it's been a fun day. We have another exciting day tomorrow, so things are getting crazy, folks. <laughs> Let's go check this room out. Wow, kind of cozy. gonna get settled in and then grab some food probably edit get some sleep waking up early again tomorrow and we're heading towards lake havasu city and we'll be driving through las vegas and i want to check out the valley of fire state park we got a fun filled day tomorrow as well so gotta get some rest i'm gonna fill up my gas tank i'm just gonna fill it up I don't necessarily need to yet i'm just gonna fill it up so that i don't have to do it in the morning and then we can just get out of here right in the morning and Not too bad. 42.39 this time. We're gonna get ready for bed and we're gonna try to get some rest early because I wanna get up pretty early and start heading to the Valley of Fire, just north of Las Vegas. And then from there, we'll be heading down to Lake Havasu City. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Let's get checked out and we'll be on the road. Okay, I stand corrected. There was someone in there and they said I could grab a cup of coffee, so I did. It's actually not that bad, so today's already off to a great start. All right, so we are checked out and we're back on the road. It is about 5.45 a.m. and we are heading towards Las Vegas this morning. And on the way, there's this place called Valley of Fire State Park. And I will be stopping in there and we'll be checking that out, so. Sorry for being dark. It's just there's no there's no sun yet. It's early in the morning. Let's get on the road. Valley of Fire. Let's go. Bye, St. George. It was a mad pleasure. You guys' red rocks are incredible. But now heading towards Vegas, baby. Woo! I'm just kidding. I don't gamble. Okay, one thing I did not realize is that heading back west towards Vegas area, 
we go back into like the coastal time zone. So now it just kicked me back an hour. So I left St. George at 5.45 a.m. Now it's 5.30 a.m. here. So I gained that hour back. There it is, the Valley of Fire. Oh man, this is gonna be so cool. Nobody here. Oh, can we pay right here? Oh, here we go. I think you can pay right here. There we go. Did I just have a no I didn't. I hope I didn't. No! I bought a disabled day use. No! <laughs> oh my god, I gotta pay an extra. I gotta do it. I can't. My soul would hurt. I guess I'm paying for two now because my soul would hurt if I accepted a, a disabled day pass. I didn't even mean to press that. Well, there goes nine bucks, but it happens. The sun is rising. We gotta get in there. This isn't authorizing. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get in there. Come on. This reminds me a lot of like Monument Valley. Yes, there it goes. Non resident day use and not disabled uh, that's one quick way to lose money but my heart and soul have never allowed me to follow through with that all right we're at the valley of fire let's get in there it's gonna be fantastic look at this i'm so excited is there restrooms because i need to pee Okay, so the area I'm looking for, like the famous roadway shot in the Valley of Fire is White Domes Trail, I believe. So we're just gonna drive straight to there and try to get some pictures of that. And hopefully it's everything is cracked up to be. Okay, this is what we were looking for. drove through the Valley of Fire. I'm probably gonna drive back through it like five times. Yeah, so this is Fire Canyon Overlook. I love cacti. Something about them, I just love. This is actually pretty cool in here. I'm gonna just walk it in through this canyon. enters this these canyons and turns it into an accelerated wind tunnel just blasting my face off oh lord I think we're coming up on the lookout now 
that sun hit my face feels so good. It also shows that there's like big horn sheep in this state park. I would literally cry if I saw one of those. Tears of joy. There it is. Look at all those layers. Look at all those layers. It's fantastic. Okay, heading back to the car now. I'm gonna go back and drive through that valley. Maybe get a couple more shots, take it all in. But wow, it's beautiful out here. Now we're at the actual White Domes trailhead. I'm pretty sure this goes into like some slot canyon type stuff. It's incredible. What a place. Who would have thought? Not I. <laughs> Look at this. Oh man, this is incredible. What? Oh, fucking bird. Just scared the bejeebers out of me. Okay, that's incredible. What makes this even better is I'm here by myself. There's no one here. Yes, dude, this is incredible. My cheeks hurt because I can't stop smiling. Okay, yep, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Look at those guys, so cool. Okay, now we're heading out to a spot called Fire Wave. I didn't expect there to be this much, and there's a lot here to explore. So there's the Fire Wave. I just got done shooting a bunch of photos, had this set up, and I went down there and shot out over that. I think they're gonna be crispy, hopefully. So dang cool, man. So dang cool. I can't get over how cool that place is in there, man. So impressive. But now it is the sad part of I am having to leave now. I have to get back on the road, keep heading south. So unfortunately, I do have to leave this beautiful place. Before I do though, I'm gonna run into the visitor center and see if they have any stickers because I am a sucker for stickers. I like to put them up in my overhead rack. So let's pop in there and see if they have any stickers I can buy. Got a pretty cool sticker to add to my collection. Mission complete. We are done with the Valley of Fire. It was so, so cool. So, so, so cool. Again, yet another park that I would highly recommend if you're in the area. It's near Las Vegas. If you're in the area and you have the time, I highly recommend coming to the state park. The views are amazing. They just take your breath away. Now we are back on the road. We gotta keep heading south. We are now heading to Lake Havasu City where I'll be staying there tonight. And I'm hoping tonight we'll actually sleep in here. This will be the first night sleeping in here. So the weather's actually good enough. There's a lot of opportunities around that area just to park anywhere and sleep, so. I kind of want to get down there before it gets dark so then I can set this up and then we can be ready to roll. So let's keep on heading south. I still have half a tank, but I'm at this gas station now, so I figure I might as well just fill up while I'm here and then don't have to worry about it until I'm until Lake Havasu. So we're gonna fill up right now. So 27 bucks, half a tank, not too bad. Let's keep heading south. Okay, so we just... What are all these 
bumps, man. This road is terrible. All right, man, let me get out of this lane. Good God, that was atrocious. You see like these bumps on the road every two seconds. But okay, we just uh, we just passed through Vegas. I will admit, a little bit tempted to pop into the city there in Vegas and uh, go bet 10 grand because I have it like that. <laughs> just kidding. I'm poor as hell. You guys just saw that truck in the middle of the dirt right there. It always fascinated me about this this area of the country is that this is all Bay Rear of Land management land. So it's all free to use land. We drive out anywhere and just park and you can sleep there. There's no regulations, no permits. I'm from Washington State where like literally you have to have a permit to even look at a piece of land. <laughs> so it's always fascinating to me to be to see down here where you can just go wherever you want. It's kind of crazy. I like it though. and it's gonna be pretty short though then we'll cross it back into Arizona but I just want it on the record that yes we did touch California on this trip as well just like that we just crossed over the Colorado River we are now in Arizona we are finally into our final destination state. Six states now, because we did go through California, like I said, so that, that counts. I'm counting it. It's a total of six states on this road trip. It's crazy to think we're almost there. We're almost to Phoenix. We just have tonight in Lake Havasu, and then tomorrow morning we'll be jetting down, and that'll be it. There's the first glimpse of Lake Havasu. Oh, baby. Holy, look at that big brute. He's a beast. Okay, we made it to Lake Havasu City. It is about four o'clock local time. It is beautiful here. It is 67 degrees and sunny. It's crazy coming from all that snow and like winter weather. And now it's just like summertime weather down here. It's, it's a different world, but. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. I wanted to ask about availability for campsites. No tent camping. I have a bed in the back of this. Would that still work no. or no? We don't let just RVs and stuff? Yeah. Okay. Okay, no worries. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, well. It's not looking good for campgrounds. I just went to like three of them and they all told me they're not allowing people to sleep in their vehicles right now. So I have no campgrounds. And then they did tell me there's dispersed camping, like the boondocking that I was thinking about doing. I went to the state park and I was talking to the state park officials and they were telling me that one of them tends to get a lot of like rough looking people. And the other one's kind of like 50-50 if it's rough looking people or not. And that sounds absolutely terrifying <laughs> so i don't want to be sleeping in my car in the middle of a desert with rough looking people around me so now i think i might just try to go on expedia and just honestly book another room it's already 4 30 sun's gonna set in like an hour and a half there's not much time and it's just kind of everything's not working out well like as i was hoping but it's got to roll the punches i think we'll just look for a hotel and unfortunately have to stay at another hotel won't be able to camp on this trip but i will be in arizona for a while so there'll be plenty of camping to come it is what it is. Okay, update. I found a hotel. So we're gonna go check in. We're gonna go hang out by the London Bridge, I think. That's like the famous thing here in Havasu. Okay, we're at the hotel. So we're gonna go get checked in. Go explore a little bit more. Hi there. Hey, how you doing? Washington, Bellingham. Yep. Wow. Yeah, come a long ways. Convenient for you. Yeah? Okay, perfect. Yep. Thank you so much. Enjoy I appreciate your it. Night. Yeah. it was nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you as well. Thank you. Have a safe, have safe travel. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks. Wow. That lady was so nice. It makes you feel so good when you like check it into a hotel and the front desk is just like super nice to you. It makes you feel like, man, I've picked a good spot. Home sweet home. Yet another comfortable bed. How do we keep doing it? Usually I always have at least one hotel that has a terrible bed. All of these, not so bad. Okay, bags are in the room and we are heading to the London Bridge, folks. The actual London Bridge. I flew to London. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, dude. Let's flip and go check this out. It 
is pretty beautiful here. I'm enjoying it so far. It's a beautiful sunset tonight. Okay, the sun is down. It is now evening. I think I'm just gonna go enjoy the rest of this evening. Maybe get some dinner, relax a little bit. See you guys back at the room. We are back to the room for the night. Not much going on tonight. Probably just ready for bed. Do a little more editing like always. And then get some rest. And then we wake up tomorrow and we make our last final push into Phoenix. And then the trip will be complete. Alrighty. What a day. That was a good day. If you guys are still here this far into the video, you guys are the real ones. I want you guys to comment below I'm still here if you're still watching this video because I have a feeling it's going to be a long video thinking back to all the stuff I've shot so far I don't even know how long it's going to be but I don't even know how I'm going to edit all this <laughs> so if you're still here stick with me for a little bit longer we're almost there and we're going to make it tomorrow Phoenix I'm going to get some sleep now see you guys in the morning I'm gonna go on a jog this morning because I haven't been exercising a lot the last couple of days because I've been driving so much and I feel like a walking m and &M. So I'm gonna go on a little jog this morning, get a little exercise, get the blood flowing. It is 7 a.m. and I'm stiff as a board. So I'm gonna stretch real quick and then we'll go out and jog. Okay, headphones are on, we all know. That means business. Okay, just dropping the keys back off. And I'm gonna go hit this jog. I'm probably not gonna bring you guys because it would be hard to jog with a GoPro in my hand, but I'm gonna go knock this jogger real quick and I'll see you guys when I get back. So actually that is California, which I learned yesterday. Okay, made it back from our jog. Feels good. Feels good to run like that after you've been driving for so many days. Feeling like an absolute blob. So it feels good to get some energy out, go on a jog. It was just a 30 minute jog, so nothing crazy, but felt good nonetheless. Now I'm gonna get showered up, packed up, and then we'll be back on the road this morning to finish up our last leg of this trip. Five days of travel, technically six. I've been saying six lately. I'm gonna title this five days because I'm not really counting the first day. Thursday I left after work pretty late. I don't really count that day. And then today is like another half day, just a few more hours into Phoenix. So I'm gonna title it as five days, so don't come at me. Technically six, I'm gonna just call it five. Don't hate me. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna shower up, get packed up, and then we'll be back on the road. Go check out. Checking out. Okay, honey, what room are you in? Um, yeah. What's your last name? Buchanan. And is it possible if I grab two cups of, of coffee? Course. Would that be okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, if you want. Awesome, thank you so much. Yeah, this is my first time in uh, Havasu, so. Yeah, oh, good. It was, it was pleasant. Good. I'm, I'm from Washington State, so. Oh, so uh, nice and cold up there. This weather is like summertime for me. <laughs> good, thank you so much. Okay, sweetie. 
Me too. Ah. I've said it before and I'll say it again. When you have a nice front desk lady at hotels, it just makes the experience that much better. It can't just be me. I know you guys got to relate to that. Like once you get into a place and they're so sweet, you're just like, man, thank God I'm staying here. But you guys heard it. Two cups of coffee, but these are like, this is warm up. Honestly, pretty good though, Terry. Make some good coffee. I can appreciate you. 8.30 a.m. now, local time. A little bit later start than we've been doing on the strip, but that's because I went on jog this morning and kind of just took a, took a slower morning. Nonetheless, we are getting back on the road. We have about three hours into Phoenix, and then we will be done. We will be at our final destination. That'll be the end of this episode. That'll be this trip down to Phoenix, five days. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank you for staying with me this long. Let's finish up this road trip. Goodbye, Havasu. It's been a real pleasure. Okay, we we're down the road a little bit, about 30, 40 minutes in Parker. I gotta get some gas. And this will be hopefully, officially, the last tank of gas for this trip. And I'll put the total up for how much I spent in total for the gas, but this will be the last tank of gas for this road trip. So let's fill up. Okay, last tank of gas was $48.22. I've been writing all this down so I can tally it all at the end of the trip. So yeah, we're filled up. And I'm gonna stop in here and get some coffee and we'll be on our way again. Uh, yeah. Yes, I did get more coffee, even though I had some 40 minutes ago. But like I said, that was barely even, that was cups were so small, that's like a warm up. So I had to get more coffee. Don't judge me. Not bad. Okay, back on the road, final push. We are about 80 miles outside of Phoenix still. It's about an hour and a half left, but I'm stopping at a rest stop. So I gotta empty out the bladder. All that coffee needs to be released. Number one, not number two. That's later. What else was I gonna say? Oh yeah. So I guess technically this will be the official last rest stop of the road trip as well. Kind of like a bittersweet ending. We just had the last fill up of gas. This is the last rest stop. Then the road trip will be done. So a little final push here. Maybe we'll do one last final stretch for the road trip too. What the? How'd you guys fall off? Oh yeah, that feels good. You know what else feels good? Wearing shorts. On the road again. We're on the road again. Rate those vocals best around now this is like the exact final push about an hour and a half left and that will conclude this road trip so yes let's get it done
We have officially made it to Phoenix. That is wild. All the way from Seattle down here to Phoenix. We are here. We made it. It doesn't feel real, but we did it. That was a long, long haul. Feels cool to be able to say we made that trip. Seattle to Phoenix, five days. We are officially in Phoenix. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Well, that's the end. That is all, folks. We are here, and that will conclude this road trip. It is finally over. We are here. So with that, that will also conclude this episode. So thank you guys for coming along with me. Thanks for joining me. If you're still here, thanks for watching this entire episode. I appreciate you. I'll be spending a few months here in Phoenix, so there's going to be a lot of hiking, a lot of car camping, a lot of regular camping, and just a lot of adventures to come and a lot of adventures to be had. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those. Until next time, don't stop exploring, and we'll see you guys in the next one.